welcome back to Overdrive Grand Prix. Formula One drivers live life in the fast lane, but away from the racetrack, it's not all glitz and glamour. We got India's second F1 driver and paddock favourite Karun Chandok to give us a glimpse into his world when he's not behind the wheel. Hi, I'm Karun Chandok and uh, welcome to my home away from home in Brackley. And uh, come on in, have a little tour. This, um, this painting is, a, is quite a significant one. This is the last ever race where Alan Prost and Ayrton Senna, my two childhood heroes, raced together. Uh, Senna actually won it. It's called the Ultimate Victory. Um, and you can see it's won with both Senna and Prost in it. Uh, I try and collect little model cars of every car that I've ever raced. So this was at the best of speed. This is my Hispania car from, from last year, uh, which is my first Formula 1 car, obviously. This is my first ever helmet, uh, which I raced with in 2001 in the Formula Asia series and uh, I won the championship with. Uh, this one is from um, Spa in 2007, my first GP2 win and a uh, very special race win. And this is uh, one of my helmets from, from this year with Team Lotus. So I've been living in uh, Brackley on and off. I mean, I come here for the season and go, go to India for the winter. But since uh, 2002, I first came here to do Formula 3 and not the most exciting town in the world, but uh, you know it's home. I've got now a lot of friends in the area. Uh, for me, I, to be honest, it's very convenient because I can get to six airports within an hour and a half. And when you do uh, 110 flights a year, uh, being close to an airport is quite an important part. You know, we're right in the thick of Motorsport Valley here. Silverstone Circuit is five minutes away, um, which is obviously where the British Grand Prix is held. And I used to work there as well. So all the people around here, you know, uh, Mercedes F1 uh, is 300 meters from my house, Force India about uh, five minutes, uh, Lotus, my team is uh, two hours from here, McLaren, Williams, uh, Renault, Virgin Racing, all are within an, an hour and a half. So uh, it's, you know, it really is in the thick of Motorsport Valley uh, in this part of the country. Some of you may have heard, but there's a restaurant in Brackley who have actually named a dish after me, and uh, we're actually coming up to it right now. It's the it's the Kushbu, which is uh, right outside our window right now. Uh, the the owner's a bit of a fan, and um, you know, it's I used to live across the road from him, so whenever my friends or family or journalists or anyone came over, this was an easy place to take people and. Uh, have a Karun special and in fact now from one dish we've got a whole section so now there's a whole Karun section on the menu I think there's four or five dishes in there but um, it's turned out to be pretty popular I mean a lot of the Brits tend to like it as well I think so it's turned out to be uh, pretty popular The lake, as I said in Brackley, it's a, it's a great place um, to come and just chill out, just bring a sandwich, uh, sometimes just have some lunch. I mean, my house is 200 meters over there and the town center is 300 meters that way. So it's a, you know, it's, it's a nice area to come and even when my friends and family come, just to, to come and uh, it's such a nice uh, scenery. And also for me to come training, it's fantastic. Because they have a running path that goes all the way around and it goes a little bit into the forest. Um, there's a disused railway line as well, so you can go running through there and do uh, kilometers of running if you wanted to. Um, you know, it's one thing coming on a, on a great summer day like this, but it's, a, it's another thing when you come in the winter. It's two, three degrees and you know I'm wearing arm warmers, leg warmers, a ski hat, and it's your freezing cold, you can't feel your nose. And uh, it's tough to come training on days like that, but I think that's what sort of um, you know you need if you if you want to compete for the best in the world, you need to be at a level where you can commit to it. So, as I said, there's a lot of plus sides to live on like Brackley, and I think uh, you know having good places to train is something very important for us as well. One of the 
other good things about living uh, here in England is that I've got this. My local car track is 20 minutes from home. I think this is something we really miss out in India. Um, you know, a chance for anybody to just, you know, call your local track, jump in a car, go 20 minutes down the road, get in your car and, and, you know, proper cars, not just fun rental cars that you see at uh, most circuits we have back home. You know, I've been coming here at least once or twice a week. I try and come out when, when I'm in the UK. Uh, and it's fantastic, you know, it keeps you sharp, it keeps your reflexes sharp. It's great fitness training. Um, and we've got a great little circuit here, Will to Mill. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little insight into my world away from India and uh, if you don't mind, it's time to put the cameras away and for me to get back in my cart. Bye. And that brings us to the end of our first episode of Overdrive Grand Prix. Remember to join us next week as we continue our build up to India's first Formula One race. I'll leave you with a chance to join Karun in the F1 paddock. Meet Karun Chandok at the Indian Grand Prix. Win two paddock passes for 28th October courtesy Team Lotus. For more details, log on to www.overdrive.in.